fifth year doctorate students at the Wharton School. I'm very excited to share with you my research on the fresh start effect. This is joint work with Katie Milkman and uh, Jason Race. So most of people want to improve themselves. They want to be healthier, study harder, and be nicer. But the problem is our motivation to improve ourselves often comes and goes. So a broad question I'm interested in is when people naturally are most motivated to pursue their aspirations. One answer that may immediately occur to you could be uh, New Year's Day. Half of American adults make New Year's resolutions. They believe that New Year's Day is a fresh start opportunity for them. So in my research, I look at the implications of fresh starts for aspirational behaviors and the goal pursuit. We define aspirational behaviors as activities that people aspire to undertake and that help them achieve their personal goals, such as obtaining a biometric screening and eating healthy food, uh, exercising more frequently. People may create a fresh start by themselves, um, but I'm interested in temple landmarks as naturally arising points in life that may create a sense of fresh start. And my research primarily focuses on calendar events, such as the beginning of the week, the month, and the year, and the semester, and school breaks, as well as federal holidays. Temple landmarks can psychologically disconnect our current selves from our past selves. And this allows us to relegate our imperfections to our disconnected past selves. As a result, people may feel less tarnished by their past failures, and they may be more, feel more capable of pursuing their aspirations aspirations. And second, temple landmarks as transition points in life may disrupt people's focus on day-to-day -day minutia. As a result, people may take a high level and big picture view of their lives and they may be more interested in pursuing their long-term goals. In the first field study, uh, we looked at people's interest in an important and popular aspirational activity, dieting. We had a daily Google search volume for the term diet for about eight and a half years. And we expected that people should be more interested in starting a diet uh, following temple landmarks. Their interest probably will decrease as temple landmarks becomes less, become less and less salient. Um, but we expect a spike right after temple landmarks. So we plotted the daily search volume for the term diet across all observations in our data set. And we found that the search volume is higher at the beginning of the week, the month, and the year, as well as right after a federal holiday. Mm -hmm. And in the next study, we moved to people's actual engagement uh, in another important and popular aspirational behavior and many people here study, uh, that is exercising. We analyzed gym attendance records for more than 2,000 undergraduate students. Uh, we included the temple landmarks that are relevant to undergraduate students, such as the beginning of the semester, school breaks, and students' birthdays. We used the ordinary least square regression model to predict uh, the likelihood of a given student visiting the gym on a given day. We included student fixed effect, and we found that the same student is more likely to go into the gym uh, at the beginning of the week, the month, the year, and the semester, right after school break, as well as right after their birthday, or more precisely, after their non 21st birthday. <laughs> <laughs> we conducted another study where we examined a broader set of goals are not necessarily motivated by people's intention to uh, compensate for their prior overindulgence. So in this website, stick.com, users can create a commitment contract by uh, describing a personal goal and indicate how much money they would forego if they fail to achieve that goal. So it's a commitment device. We find that commitment contracts are more likely to be created at the beginning of the week, the month, the year, after the federal holiday, particularly a federal holiday that was perceived as more like a fresh start, as well as users' birthdays. And importantly, we basically replicate the same patterns when we look at health irrelevant commitment contracts. So, so far I've shown you three field studies that demonstrate that temporal landmarks can motivate aspirational behaviors. And the natural next question is whether we are able to leverage the fresh start effect as a nudge technique. 
So in the first lab experiment, I wanted to test whether people are more interested in engaging in goal-related behaviors on a day that is framed as a meaningful temporal landmark. Specifically, if we highlight an otherwise ordinary day as a temporal landmark, would people be more interested in receiving a reminder of their personal goals on that day? We recruited a participant from Amazon's Mechanical Turk who wanted to receive a reminder of a goal that they planned to pursue in April 2014. About 20% of the goals described by participants were health relevant, such as uh, eating healthy food and having a better sleep schedule. And participants choose when they would like to receive a reminder, and we gave them a list of seven days. In the start of spring condition, we described March 20th, 2014 as the first day of spring. In the control condition, we describe it as the third Thursday in March 2014. <laughs> and we expected that people would be more interested in receiving a reminder and beginning pursuing their goals on an otherwise ordinary day when it was framed as a temple landmark. And indeed, March 20th was selected more frequently when it was labeled as the first day of spring. In the next lab experiment, we wanted to test whether highlighting the meaningfulness of a recent temple landmark, in this case, New Year's Day, and how could that affect people's um, motivation to engage in goal-related behaviors. So we recruited a participant who wanted to pursue a goal again in 2014 that they failed to achieve in 2013. Then we give participants the chance to peruse six websites with tips for goal achievement. We expected that having people reflect on uh, the meaningfulness of a recent temple landmark should motivate them to engage in activities that may facilitate their goal pursuit. And indeed, participants who reflected on the meaningfulness of a recent, temp uh, a recent new year clicked on more go ready the websites and spent more time reviewing website descriptions that we provided to them. So in conclusion, across the three field studies, I show you robust evidence that temporal landmarks can motivate aspirational behaviors. And I also showed you two lab experiments that started to um, leverage the first start effect to motivate aspirational behaviors. Those findings suggest some potential nudge techniques doctors, researchers, managers, and policymakers may want to use to increase school pursuit. Uh, for example, we can highlight the existence or the meaningfulness of temple landmarks, or we can invite people to engage in goal pursuit right after temple landmarks when they experience elevated uh, motivation. And currently, I'm designing a field experiment in collaboration with Kitty, Jason, Kevin, and Bradford. Everyone's here. Uh, we're <laughs> we want to leverage the fresh start effect to increase medication adherence, and I hope next year we will be able to share some exciting findings with everyone here. Thank you for your attention.